In the last three years, Ryan has attended a few international events, such as the Masters competition, Commonwealth Games, and one of the biggest games that took place on home soil, the 2015 Pacific Games. Ryan competed in front of the home crowd, where some of the events were part of his training on top of his usual trainings for the Rio Olympics. Ryan was training both overseas and in the country for what might be his last shot and to end his swimming career at an international, if not world-class event. Ryan's 2016 Olympic preparations all started when his wife Kali asked him to take one last shot at the Olympics to do it for his fans, his family and the country he is always proud to compete for, PNG. Well, I'm actually trying to encourage him to go to Olympics next year, um, but it is a, a lot of training. Um, again, he, he is working full time now. He did take a bit of time off work to, for these games to prepare. Um, it, it's up to him. Um, I would like to encourage him to just do one more Olympics and then, then call it a day. Um, but yeah, this will most likely be his definitely last. But this will not be the last time we see or hear of Ryan. He will be seen back home in the country doing what he loves doing most and of course swimming, coaching and training young and upcoming swimmers of tomorrow. Today Pinny is one of the most successful athletes proving that hard work, dedication and passion in any sport goes a long way in achieving great results. The 2016 Rio Olympic Games will commence tomorrow and you can watch the opening ceremony this Saturday at 9 a.m. live on MTV. Godwin Eki, National MTV Sports.